What's it gonna be? I don't want to kill my friend. Then I want $500 next week or she dies. Okay, shit. I'm so happy this mess with Ian is over. He is finally in jail. That stressed everyone out for sure. Well, I am excited to go back to school, and just have be a normal life, and kinda forget about everything. You know we are gonna be in different schools right? That sucks, and I'd love to switch, but I can't just abandon my friends. I get I get it girl. Crap 740 I'm gonna get late. Your school starts that early? Mine starts at 9 o'clock. Phew I made it on time. Hey gal. Chrissy. Did you hear on the news that Ian has been arrested? Yeah. Finally, he got what he deserved. I was so worried that he would sneak into your room and kill my friend. Just thinking about that gives me the chills. Well, I guess it's time to head to class. Okay. Work students or I don't get paid, and you all will be my slaves. Hey that rhymed. I regret liking school. Walking to home. Oh hey Lizzie. Hi Kyle. Liz, I have something to tell you. Yeah. Congrats on your stepdad facing justice. And, I uh, wait. Yes. I have feelings for you. What? I knew you were gonna act this way. Sorry Kyle, but I have to focus on school, and can we please just be friends for now? Can't you believe that creep tried to ask me out? He just likes you that's all. I just feel bad. I mean Kyle is nice to me, but I see him as a friend, not a lover. I feel bad for rejecting him like that. Well it would've been worse if you lied to him. Plus you made the right choice, now is not the time for dating. Yeah, I guess. It's gonna be hard facing him on Monday. I just wanna enjoy my weekend. Nice talking about this and all, but maybe we should stop discussing this topic. It seems to stress you out. Yeah okay. Don't worry it's not like you killed him or something. I'm sleeping. I can't think. Thought I was gone? Please, please stop bug. <laughs> I finally killed Lizzie. Yet, it was all a nightmare. Calm down, Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. How was your sleep? I could not sleep at all thinking about Siri Great's new upcoming series Alchemy, which will be custom animated by him which means not made with that limited plotagon thing, so his new movie is gonna be so great. Although I heard it will take a while. Wow that sounds lit but yeah I had trouble sleeping too, I had a nightmare about Ian killing me. How did he kill you? Really? Please I wanna know. Okay fine, so what he did was first break my arm, then punch my head, then chalked me so hard and hit me, then shot me multiple times and then in the eyes. And I died. Okay. That's dark. You wanted to know. Well I did, and I don't regret it. Well, in class all day I'm gonna be thinking about your death okay? Well, I gotta change and unless you wanna see my ugly body you might wanna go. Heard you had a nightmare about Ian killing you. News travels fast, huh? As long as he's in jail he can't hurt you or anyone. He's not like a professional killer. He's just mediocre. I guess so. I should continue with my own life now. Yep, so skid battle we gotta go to that hell they call school again. So class, 
We will do a project exploring the First Nations in the Europeans. You will be divided into partners. Group 1, Teresa and Harnor. <laughs> Group 2, Jake and Clara. Group 3, Lizzie and... Kyle. Yo, Tango. Class dismissed. And don't forget your project ETH your partner. So, wanna meet at my house, since I probably can't come to the orphanage. And I also have a bunch of science books cause, you know me. Okay, I will come at 5 o'clock. Remember to not copyright. Yay, yeah, okay? OMG, I can't wait for Lizzie to come. This could be my chance to finally take her into my arms. Oh Lizzie, you will finally learn how much I adore you. Sarah, where are you? Sarah, no. Hyun, I'm starting to feel weird. My stomach is hurting like someone just kicked it and I feel sick at times. And I am having constant headaches and a crave for food a lot more now. What is happening to me? Don't worry Sarah, maybe it is simply that you're sick, and your body is weak. A stomach flu might explain your stomach aches. She wasn't joking. This is more than a common sickness. Yay, you're here. Okay. Get your computer out, and let's create a doc, with all our research on it to show to the teacher too. That will impress her. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, come to my room so we can work in peace. Damn, your room is clean and fancy. Come with me, I have to show you something. Welcome to my room. What the hell was that place? To show you how much I admire you. Soon you will learn your love for me too. No fucking way you creep. And where did you get those pictures? The internet and me taking photos of you. Okay, I think I should go now. No, you're not going anywhere. You're staying here. With me. No way you. Hey, let me out, Kyle. No, I have locked the door so you can't escape. Hopefully this can give you time to think about the love we have, because well, I don't want things to get ugly. Let me out you psychopath. No don't leave. Crap there has to be a way out of here. Lizzie what have you gotten yourself into? Sarah wake up. This is really bad. She is not responding. 911 please state your emergency. I found my friend collapsed on the floor. She is not responding to me. Has she been sick for the past few days? Yes, she was telling me a few days ago that she was starting to experience a lot of headaches randomly, and cramps, and got hungry quicker. I thought she had a stomach flu or something. This is more than the common sickness. We are sending paramedics to your location. In the meanwhile try doing CPR kid. You can't implode a gun. Oh yeah. I don't get why people like this shit software. People want Siri to fail so they force him to use Plotagon. Siri should never have let himself be manipulated like this. Okay, we get it now please send paramedics. Maybe, I should call Lizzie, to tell her. Hello? Hyun is that you? Listen. Sarah what? I won't be able to make it, because Kyle has me locked up in his room and won't let me out. He wants me to stay with him forever. I'm not sure if we should involve the police. Please don't come over it might be risky. Hyun? Hyun? Well he's coming, thank god. Lizzie are you ready to admit what we have? Guess we're doing this the hard way. Who is there? Who did you call? No one. I'm checking. Who's there? Oh, I was just passing by to what pick my friend up, Lizzie. She is not here. Oh, I thought she went to your house. 
Well, sorry, wrong house. Bye. I'm sure that bitch Lizzie called him. That's it. He has got to be lying. Let me go check a window. This kid is crazy. I have to call the cops. I know you called that kid. Hey, give me my phone back. No. You brought this on yourself. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? You just totally ignore the people that really care for you. Like me. You're just... If you really care about me, why are you having me locked up? One day you will figure out how much you love me. Lizzie won't be able to pull any more tricks with her phone. Lizzie got the text. Sorry Lizzie, but I have to talk to your friend. All the text messages deleted so Lizzie could not see them. Sorry guys. I think I have an idea to bring me and Lizzie closer together. I have an idea for something to confirm our relationship and set you free. What is it? Let's compose a song together. It will be about our love. Okay? Guess that should not be too hard. Okay start. Oh, the light that shines me in the dark abyss trying to take me to a... Uh. You purposely are not trying hard enough. Your singing is so bad. I have seen you before. Plus, you're a good poet. You can come up with better lines. Well, it does not help with hearing my friend crying in the background. <laughs> Time to do what I should have done in the start. What are you doing with the knife? Don't stab me, please. Oh no, I won't be hurting you. Please no. Don't hurt Yoon. I have to do something. Say goodbye. You should say goodbye. Damn it, I forgot to lock the door. Let me remove the tape off you. I am going to kill you. Please don't kill him. I will spare him on one condition. What? You leave this place with me peacefully, okay? Okay, but where? Lizzie, no. What did you do that for? Do not worry, I just knocked him out. I realize, aren't you parents gonna see this when they come home? I considered that. So I killed them. Oh my god, no you didn't. I can show you their corpses. I hope this makes you realize, how much I will do for you Lizzie. Now unless you want your friend to have the same fate as them, I suggest you come along with me. So unless you want the same thing, to happen to your friend, I suggest you come with me. Okay, okay. What are we doing here? People keep interfering with our relationship, so I decided to. Go to heaven with you. Please in begging you don't shoot me. First I will shoot you, then I will shoot myself and we can both go to the afterworld by ourselves without anyone bugging us. Kyle, there is no such thing as the afterworld. After we die it's just darkness. Nothing happens and no one is together.
Shut up. I know it is true. Please, we can have a relationship here alive. We don't have to die. I don't want to die. I still have a long life ahead of me. Don't you get it? We can never have it here. People keep bugging us. You keep snitching on me. Ugh, what happened? I'm alone again. At least without duct tape on my mouth. Kyle said he was going to take Lizzie Wee him somewhere. But where? First of all, how am I gonna get out of this room? He locked me here. I should use my phone. Damn it, bastard took my phone. What Lizzie texted me can't be true. She all of a sudden just ditches her friend for Kyle? I have to go to Kyle's house to see if it is true. Ha, huh, the door was open. Hello, anyone there? I think I hear the crying from the door. What the hell? He and why were you looked in that creepy room with those photos of Lizzie? What is going on? Kyle is taking Lizzie somewhere? I don't know where, but he is crazy obsessed with her. Oh my god my friend has been kidnapped by a psychopath. She is in great danger. I'm calling the police. With everything going on, I forgot all about Sarah. God please save my friend Lizzie from that crazy guy. God knows what he is gonna do to her. I guess everyone is getting the Amber Alert. Good. We have to go see Sarah now and tell her. Let's go to the hospital to check up on her. I heard she was put into the ICU room. Doctor, will Sarah be okay? She is in critical condition right now. We are doing a test to see what is wrong. Okay, I can wait. I hope you get better, Sarah. What happened with Sarah? Sarah is pregnant. How could this happen to me? It's time now. No. Police come here. They passed us, don't worry. I won't let you shoot me. Oh no, I accidentally shot Kyle. I'm a murderer now. Stamp down. You murdered that kid. He had the gun at me first and I pushed him away and the gun accidentally went off. He was gonna shoot me anyway. Yeah right. You're just a murderer. Wait a minute. First off all you should be asking how that kid has a gun. See you kind of all I'm the child from the Amber Alert you know I'm the victim here. You did not have to murder him you crazy girl. He killed his parents. He told me. Check his house, and check his fingerprints were on the gun first. Shut up. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I don't want to have to shoot you because this is America. No this is not America, and please I can't go to jail for self-defense. Plus I did not kill ask my friends. They will know. Tell that to court. Breaking news. 15-year-old Lizzie Sascara is under trial today for the murder of Kyle Anderson. She will be brought to court today to testify. And we will see who the real villain is here. Reporting live, this is Brenda Houston. Today we are here to discuss the murder of Kyle Anderson in this courtroom that Sari Great paid for with his own money for $1.39 without tax. Lizzie, why did you shoot him? I did not. Kyle had the gun and I just attacked him out of fear and the gun went off and shot him. Do you have any witnesses? Yes! Okay, speak only the truth. Lizzie called me saying she was locked in Kyle's room and would not let her go. When I came to check he locked me in the room and threatened to kill me. Kyle sir is capable of anything and I would not be surprised if he tried to kill her. I find that a rather skeptical theory. Why would Lizzie go there? Why would you not let the police get involved? So you won't have to worry about the police arresting your friend. It was a set-up murder. Sir, that is not true. 
I went there because me and Kyle were supposed to work on a project. He wanted to keep me with him forever so he locked me up. But when my friends tried to stop him he wanted to kill me and himself so we both go to heaven together. Plus the police was called by my friend Chrissy so it was not set up. <laughs> it could be that Kyle just had a mental issue and you took advantage of that. You wanted to run away from him so you killed him. No. It's decided. Lizzie is clearly a troubled child WHO needs help. She is to be put into boarding school for discombobble youth. She has probably been traumatized by her stepdad murdering her mom. It's confirmed. Don't worry you will get the treatment you need. I guess this is goodbye. This sucks. The jury is so dumb. I'm so sorry I was not there when you were in the hospital. I wish you good luck with your baby. I'm gonna miss you. I'm so sorry for putting you at risk with Kyle and getting you involved. We're friends, right? I would do it again. Ah, oh, thank you. The months we spent together were fun. I hope they realize they are making a mistake and send you back here. They won't because the system hates admitting they are wrong. I guess so. I'm gonna miss you. Me too. You guys were the best friends I could ever hope for. Goodbye Lizzie. Goodbye Sarah and Hune. And Sarah, take good care of yourself, and call me when the baby comes out. Stay strong friend. Okay. Kratos why are you driving me? Cause I am your god. I'm not crazy, I'm not like him. It's okay that's what they all say. You had to see things you weren't supposed to see and was abused from your stepdad. Life will be better where you're at. Baby, I guess I don't understand. Hello, I would like to apply Lizzie Suscare. Here are the papers. Okay, all set. We will first introduce her to the students and then give her a tour of the place. Okay, bye Lizzie. This is the penthouse lounge. This is a place to think about your actions. Hello! Have we met before? Because I think we have. Well, looks like you have found a friend. Connor will tour you around the place. Hello, Lizzie. It's about time we meet again. I hate you, Lizzie. Lizzie, come. What? Here's your puppy. He's dead. Good, now you won't have anyone to comfort you. Why would you kill my puppy? Don't tell mom where I will visit you at night like last time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Happy birthday, Lizzie. You kids be nice. I'm going to go picking up food for a while. You little bitch, you stole my sand, which didn't you? No. We've done some tests after receiving some reports about your son, and your child Connor Sascara is a psychopath. What? Yes, he is better off at the boarding school for discombobulated youth. Connor, that's you. Yes. You're gonna pay for sending me here.